One of the reasons I started this YouTubing lark was because I saw how companies have been falling all over each other to shower young YouTubers with freebies and sponsorships. It would surely only be a matter of time before Aston Martin would ring and ask me to do a six-month review of their latest model. And what do you know? I'm very excited to be able to tell you that I've just been sent my first piece of tech to review. My first freebie. And it's something called a pit pat. And it's a pedometer for dogs, a sort of canine Fitbit. Okay, so it's a little way short of an Aston, but hey, we've all got to start somewhere. The first question is why anyone would want to monitor their dog's activity levels in the first place. I mean, you'd have to have precious little else going on in your life before you set aside time to look at a chart showing how much your dog has been moving. But if you've got an overweight dog, or one with an illness that stops them moving as much as they should, that's another story. Give or take, there are about 9 million pet dogs in the UK, and it's estimated that around half of them are overweight or obese. It's a real welfare problem for dogs who face the same risk factors as obese people. Arthritis, heart problems, pancreatitis, cancer, diabetes, and a reduced life expectancy. As a result, more and more veterinary practices are offering obesity clinics where veterinary nurses um, give you advice about the changes you need to make to your dog's diet and exercise to get it back into shape. But getting the right advice is one thing, sticking to it is quite another. And that's why I think these pit pat things could be really useful to be used as part of a weight loss program run by a veterinary nurse like Jen here. You just take the pit pat, attach it to the dog's collar and then you pair it with your iPhone so that it can start collecting data. From then on it records the dog's activity as it walks around. You can then download the records to your phone and use the PitPat app to see how much time the dog spent walking or running or how far it's walked. And you can also record your dog's weight on the app. Then, when you return to the practice for monitoring every few weeks, you'll be able to review everything with your nurse. There are other conditions beyond obesity which might cause a dog to become less mobile, where it could also be useful to measure their activity. And a common one amongst older dogs is osteoarthritis. Treatment for osteoarthritis can include a weight loss program, pain control, joint supplements or surgery. The problem is how to know whether treatment's working. Pet owners are notoriously bad at assessing a response to treatment. I think PetPat is a very useful tool for dogs, specifically with osteoarthritis, to help monitor their pain management, see how effective it is. Also their exercise, to make sure that they're not getting too much or too little exercise. And for dogs with weight issues, um, to help manage with weight clinics, to help nurses, to give them the tools to see whether the diet is effective and to check for owner's compliance. And just for a general exercise from day to day, if owners have an interest in that for their dogs. The Pit Pat costs £39, or you can buy a subscription for £4 per month for a minimum of one year, which entitles you to collect points towards various prizes and a number of different membership perks, like a bow tie for your dog. A bow tie? For my dog? No! No! Just no! That's wrong on so many different levels! I'd rather be tied to the back of a car and dragged naked across a field of nettles than be seen out walking a dog wearing a bow tie. On its website, PitPat has a page where it explains a few other reasons why you might want to monitor your dog's activity. The last of which is because activity monitoring is fun. No, it's not. Fun is something you have with friends, like hanging out on the back of a super yacht, or whizzing down the Thames in a speedboat at two in the morning, or flying a small plane down the Grand Canyon, or racing go-karts, or doing the Cresta Run. One thing that is emphatically not fun is monitoring your dog's activity. What it is, though, is a very useful tool to use with your veterinary nurse to get your dog back into shape, or with your veterinary surgeon to monitor the effect of treatment on your dog's mobility. 
If you know someone with a dog, particularly an obese or elderly one, you might like to share this video with them. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.